We have a look now at people inspiring others. Their love for Detroit grows stronger each and every day, and their commitment to their communities is unwavering. They're proud Detroiters living on the west side of the city, and there's no place else they'd rather be. 7 News reporter Andrea Isom takes us to District 7 as part of our series, Getting to Know the Neighborhood. There are dozens of ways you can describe the people of Detroit, the city of Detroit, and how it makes you feel. So we asked some remarkable folks doing some remarkable things inside district number seven. Detroiters have so much aptitude, you know, they have so much want to be better. Change makers. I would say dedication. I moved into this home and July of 1973, and I've been here ever since. Willie Dickerson is a man of virtue, dignity, and he is the definition of a good neighbor. When I moved in this community, I had good neighbors, decent neighbors. It was a quiet, peaceful community, and I decided that we would keep it this way. I'm a Pride Area Community Council president. I represent from the Schaefer on the west, Myers on the east, uh, Plymouth Road on the south, and Grand River Jefferson Freeway on the north. We look out for each other, we respect each other, and we protect each other. A lot of the kids that grew up in this community has moved away, went to college, bought their families back into this community, bought homes, raising their kids in this community, and all of them come to me for advice. Now, what advice I give them, I don't know, but it works. I feel proud. I really do. I feel very proud and honored that they thought enough of me to even come back. If you don't know Calvin Colbert, you should, because he has made it his duty to lead our young people on a path to greatness. And for that, we should all be grateful. Executive Director of Detroit Impact, a community youth center located in the west side of Detroit. We're celebrating our 30 year anniversary of 30 years of working with our young people, 30 years of the footprints of our past, and 30 years of the sustainability to our future. Our young people today definitely represent our future. Going to make a difference by their intelligence, preparing them for the world. They have ideas. They're planning for the future. When you look at Cody High School, the park in front of the school, the vision of the Cody Roots community. We want them to own businesses and be operators and part of the stakeholders of this community. There's a foundation in District 7 that we can build on. There's no other place that I would want to be. And that is so powerful because it comes from an authentic place of care, passion, and compassion. Well, Pageant Atterbury does too which is also the purpose behind this sacred space she created for our kids. District 7 is definitely somewhere that's very special. Representation of possibility. PBA Royal Performing Arts and Training School. It just turned out to be something really necessary. It started out as a beauty pageant system because that was just what I was trained in and that's what I've always done. But I've always loved dance and sports and you know the other facets of the performing arts. They come here every day. We are like an extended family for them. We're taking them to higher education. Once the children hit sixth grade, we have special relationships with universities. It just kind of works effortlessly. It blossoms into something just so awesome. Because it is. You know, it has been so powerful and absolutely amazing to highlight all seven districts in this beautiful city. And I have been incredibly honored and humbled to be on this journey telling stories about the greatness of Detroit. So thank you all. I'm Andrea Isom, 7 Action News.